Hello, friends. Let's start this off with talking about the fact that some really big news has just happened in the soccer world. Abby Wambach, who is like super famous in the soccer world and is really good at being a forward and, you know, scoring goals and such, yeah, she just broke the world record, the international world record for a number of goals scored on the woman's side. Now, for a lot of people, this is a fabulous event. Examples of people who think that this is a fabulous event. Her parents. Her parents are super stoked on this event. Like, they were all in the stands, like, cheering, probably shedding some tears of joy at this occurrence. Okay? Yet, me, not so super stoked on this event. Mia Hamm, who you've probably actually heard of, because she's even more famous than Abby Wambach, had the previous record. And Mia Hamm was fabulous. Mia Hamm was the starter of soccer for girls and just brought that whole thing up and is the reason why Abby Wambach even exists. Well, okay, not literally why she exists, but why she has the ability to play women's soccer and have this huge stage that she can now play on. Stadiums where every single seat is filled. It's because of Mia Hamm and these original people who were playing women's soccer. Except now, the girls of this day and age will lose sight of who Mia Hamm is. And yes, this goes back to my inability to grasp and accept change, but still, I have my heart in like the Mia Hamm era, and I just can't handle this occurrence. In other news, in other changing news, my mom's blue van, my mom's large blue van that I like to call the Blue Whale of Doom, and that she likes to call Betsy. Yep, she calls it Betsy. Yeah, it died. Like, let's have a moment of silence. Great. So I've had that car since, well, my family's had that car. I don't own this car. Since I was in second grade. And now they're just getting rid of it. It had a crack radiator. It pretty much got rid of itself, let's be real. But then we got a new car. Her name is Annabelle. She looks more like a great white shark as opposed to a blue whale of doom. That's a step up. Lots of changes occurring all at once. Soccer and vans. So Jenna, you said that we could make a list of things that uh, our future friends should know about us when we're in college. I think that one, certain changes I think are fabulous. Other changes I can't handle, obviously. Two. I love the color yellow. Yes, not that many people love the color yellow, but I still love it. YOLO. No, not yellow. YOLO, like Y-O-L-O. -O. Common mistake. It's okay. Three, I'm obsessed with soccer. Shocker. Four, I keep dead pens. When pens run out of ink, I still have them. I have hoarding tendencies. Five, if I cut my hair, I'll have separation anxiety. Again, probably a hoarding tendency. Six, I collect Chevron with Tecron cars. Probably no one knows that. Probably, Caitlin and Jenna, you probably don't know that. That's a fun fact. Uh, seven, I love the movie Tangled. It's a great movie. Watch it. It's a beautiful thing. If you're my roommate and you don't love Tangled, chances are that we're probably not going to get along very well. And when you see this later, I apologize if you actually don't like Tangled, because we probably are getting along. 8. The reason why all of my stuff is maroon is not because I bought that all for Santa Clara, but because I went to a high school where the colors were still maroon. How fabulous is that? Fabulous! 9. My boyfriend is a sailor. 10. I'm obsessed with Disney and all things Disneyland. Hallelujah.